Hi there, welcome back. This is just a little um, visual because I think it looks pretty cool. We cleaned out some of the aquaponics fish bed and uh, there's a lot of waste and fish food at the bottom of that and this water came up pretty mucky. It's settled now but I'm, what I'm going to show you is how to make a mass if you want to clean your water out, how to get everything all settled. We'll make a big mucky mess of this. I'll show you what we had when we were cleaning out the fish tank there. Alright, so we we're emptying the filter and cleaning out the nets and stuff. That's what we were left with. Can't really tell that it's clear water on top, but because this has some weight to it, it will sink. So what we did spun it around a couple of times with my little stick. Got a little crazy there. Got a little swirly thing going on. And all the heavy stuff is going to swirl down to the bottom now. You'll see that mass up. And you'll see it. it like it sucks itself in to get all the gross stuff down at the bottom. Swirly, swirly. You can actually start to see the top of the water getting a little bit clearer. Darker mass in the middle there. It's all gathering at the bottom. So it's just a little way that we help to reduce our water usage. We'll use this to water our plants, throw in the worm bin, help along with the seedlings. Now the water isn't totally clear how it was when I brought it out, but this has been sitting for a little bit when I brought it out. But it happened fairly quickly. I haven't done any time lapse or anything on this video. Now at this point you can stick a net in there and collect all that mass if you want to, but we're just going to leave it in the bucket for now. Kind of neat how it all forces it to the middle at the bottom. You can see the pile at the bottom is a lot smaller in the center as well than when we started. It kind of flattened itself out. That looks pretty cool. Give it another swirl and see if that'll... Looks like that mass at the bottom is just reaching out to grab all the other particles and suck them right into it. There you have it, how to separate a whole big mucky bucket of water. All the heavy stuff is sunk to the bottom, lighter stuff's up top, we can just scoop it out very gently. Use that water again to water some plants. Well there you go, another cool little moment tidbit. Swirling water in a bucket full of muck. Thanks for watching and have a great day.